today's review is of the Salomon Advanced Skin 5 litre edition. It also comes in 12 litre. This race vest is one that I, you've probably seen on some of other videos. Um, I wear all the time. If I'm going out for longer than a couple of hours, um, I always wear a race vest. Quite simply, it's the easiest way to carry whatever you need, and that could be as little as a bottle of water some, and some tissues, or you know, everything you need for a day out on the mountains, even a night. Um, I wore it on the Lavaredo Ultra Trail um, where I was running overnight and needed to take a load of mandatory kit. If you watch videos of any of the big mountain runs and also trail ultras, um, it, you won't be surprised to see a lot of people wearing this race vest. It comes in a few different colours, so there's a black version, a red version, and Salomon are bringing out some new additions soon as well. This one, I'm going to take it off in a minute and show you all the various pockets, but it's useful to see it on. So uh, I'll show you when it's off as well. If you can see, I've got two bottle pockets. I don't always use them for bottles. We'll come on to that later. Stretchy pocket up here. Just about fits an iPhone 7. Um, dubious, I, I don't really keep my phone in there because I don't trust that it won't fall out. Um, zip up pocket where I keep valuables, credit cards, car key, etc. A couple of clips, which I'll show you when they're off. Moving around to the side. Each side you've got a little stretchy pocket and I'll show you the view from the back. You're probably better off looking at some of our other videos of us running. Okay, so this is the inside of the race vest. So you can see it's all breathable mesh all the way around. It's really nice. I, I've never had any problems with it. It rubbing or getting uncomfortable even wearing it for a number of hours. The only thing I I find because I'm smaller build and especially if I'm if I'm just wearing a vest t-shirt or a t-shirt, this around the neck um, does sometimes rub on my collarbone, but not to the extent that it's really really bad. I've just had some red spots after wearing it for a number of hours on a hot sweaty day. Looking at the front, so these are pockets that I showed when I when it was on. Got two bottle pockets here. They fit the 500 milliliter Salomon um, soft flask bottles, which we've reviewed as well. Um, just great for carrying water because they don't slosh, and when they're empty, they fold down to hardly anything. And the race vest comes with two of those as well. The other pocket, I've got. I keep a variety of things in there depending on where I am and what I'm doing. Um, I've got my, my phone in there today. My nice training kale case. Also, we're selling those in our shop if you want to go and check them out. Just protects the phone in case I, I fall over or something, then it's going to get a bit of protection there. Um, I stick sunglasses in there, some snacks, just anything. It's got to have enough in there though, otherwise things move around. So that's the only thing I'd say. Uh, nice little stretch pocket, you've got one in each side. Got some shop blocks in there and a lip balm. The other side, I've got a cliff bar. So on the back, from the bottom, key features. Um, you can see here, you can see them from the front. There's zipper pockets here which can't go behind the race vest. You could just about fit an iPhone 7 in there. I tend to like to keep my phone closer to the front. Um, you've got one of those on both sides. This stretchy pocket around the back, if you check out some of our other videos, you can see that we use it mainly for stuff and clothes and things you need to be able to get on the go because as long as you've got the flexibility, you can reach behind you and pull things out of there. So um, I usually keep my waterproof jacket in there. This little device took me a while to work out what it was. This is a piece of elastic. It's for carrying poles. So if you need to put longer hiking poles, there's this here and then at the diagonal up here, there's another one. And the idea is that the poles fit between the two. This doesn't really work for my poles. So I've got um, Mountain King Trailblaze. Um, really nice carbon fiber folding poles from a British company called Mountain King and they're too short when they're folded to, to fit between the two so I've taken um, uh, just a little bit of customization here um, I've basically got some elastic shoelaces with a clasp and looped through these little um, loops that are already fitted on the jacket this is more like the ultimate direction race vests have and um, you know again you could stuff a load of clothes in there if you want to but also, I find it I can just stick the poles down here, so I can put one set of folding poles here, the other pole there. They wedge down into this bit and it fits really nicely. The other piece of customization we've got on here is a very important trail and curl patch. So if you're following me in a race or on, on a trail, you see this, then you know it's me. But 
you know, we've um, we've given a few out to some of our ambassadors and advocates for brands. So you might see some other people there. But give them a shout out if you do. And if you're if you're fortunate enough to be running behind me um, in a race that's quite unusual because I tend to kind of roll near the back, then uh, come and say hi and you know let's entertain each other on our our long endeavour, whatever we're up to. Inside's a little bit more difficult to show you when it's not on, but I'll, I'll do my best. So, um, in here you've got basically a stuff section, so you can stick anything in here, three or four sections depending on how you, you configure things. So today, um, I'm just out for a little little hike slash jog on the trails to mend my sprained ankle. Um, so I've got an ankle support just in case, hopefully that doesn't blow away, and I've got some tissues because, you know, just in case, might need some tissues for whatever reason. It's good to bring a plastic bag as well, if you do need to use the tissues. There's a removable liner here. Um, I think it's, it's supposed to put your, if you're using a, a water bladder, you can you can use that and put it in there and it'll keep it a bit cooler. Um, sometimes if I'm not carrying much, I don't even take this with me. But I find it's quite useful putting things that you don't want to get wet with sweat. I'm halfway up Mount Town. Yeah, I don't really know the trails too well around here, just getting to know it. I've been in a few months, so I've got the map. And that's not going to get wet with sweat or if it rains, which is highly unlikely. Um, but it's going to have a bit of protection. Um, but it's still easy to get to because this just sits inside there and I can reach behind me or easily take it off and take whatever's in there out. So the last thing I wanted to show you on this race vest is the clips that you use to do it up. So um, this, this vest comes in two sizes. I'm wearing the smaller option. It's still a bit big for me. I mean, if, if I'm out wearing a lot of layers, I'm running somewhere cold, I've got a jacket on, um, then it's fine. And also if it's full, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fit a bit more snugly and you might have to loosen the clasps on the front. But on a normal day, so the day like today, I'm not wearing that much. <laughs> you can see that for it to fit me and not move, um, I, I I have to pull these really tight and it doesn't look that great. And also it's, it's not the most comfortable because I get that chafing that I mentioned. This is where I get the chafing. Um, other people won't get that if it sits a bit further apart. And the, what would be really nice with these to stop that is, is if the sides had bungees or clasps that you could tighten and then you could cinch in the sides, then you're going to be able to move, place these pockets where you want them in front. I mean, particularly as a woman, depending on your build and preference, you might want the bottles more to the sides so they're not sitting right in front of your chest. You, you see or see on, on some of our videos when I'm wearing this vest, um, the bottles do jig about so that it just, it's not really uncomfortable, it just looks a bit rubbish. And while I don't sort of go out to look great, it's nice. Um, so, you know, you sometimes I'll just run and I'll take the water bottle out of the pocket just so I've got like less jiggling going on in the front because it's not, it's not me, it's the vest that's jiggling. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully we'll see what Salomon bring out in the new season and, and changes that they made to the vests and perhaps some new additions. So, uh, excited to see what they're going to be.